eight o'clock means eight o seven, eight eight o nine, eight fifteen, eight. I don't. I, oh, hi. Ah. How are you? I'm I I'm hested. I feel. Oh, let's go, Chen. You have a Shannon Brig in there. Oh, okay, Shannon. Oh, Shannon's gonna be fighting Quentin. Yeah. Wow. God, are you? You know, that's um, that's a tough one. My heart. I'm up too hard on that because yeah. I'm a big fan of of uh, Ham Pagey and he's you know he's a friends and family, oh but God. Shannon Briggs is a light skinned, <laughs> and he also have a light dread. It's hard. Who do I go for? You know what I'm saying? Do I go with my heart, or do I go with my the same? I, you know, I, he's I, he's I, not I, unlike the the Egyptian cinnamon. You have some. Lipstick on your teeth, uh, sweetheart. Do I? Yeah. What you know, there's of, oh. a trick, actually, for ladies out there. They say this is a trick. If you think you're going to have lipstick, I know this is going to... Show come me that one. Here come the memes. Show me the trick. I it's a real see. trick, though, to make sure you don't get lipstick on your teeth. Um, I hate that I'm doing this. You take your finger. It's getting <laughs> you hot. You put it in, you go... And you pull it... You, and then the lipstick that would be on your teeth is supposed to end up on your finger and oh, then you wipe I, it off. Do me a favor. Try try with this two finger <laughs> like that. And then also try this one. When you graduate from this, try this one. No, bad enough people are joking. You know, this is called festivities and people have already, some people have tried to take it into a deep dark place. That's not what this show is about. We are about fist. The fist was about the fighting stuff. Yeah, true. But, you know, I'm not the one who put his finger in his mouth, God, are you? How are you, Hinato? I'm going to move on. You know, I'm hasted. I just, I just, um, I was just take a nice relaxing bath, you know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and to let myself to prepare myself to, you know, to, to, to open myself up to the possibility. You know, we have a, we have a, a nice young lady coming on, you know, and I wanted to, <laughs> to be my best and to be relaxed and, you know, see what happened. No pressure. You, well, the champ, yes, strawweight, UFC strawweight champ, Rose Nama Yunus, is going to yeah. be here, but she's going to be here with her significant other, Pat Barrett. What? Been, I mean, they've been together for a really long time. But uh, that's just a coach, no? Well, I mean, he's her coach, but, like, they, when I first met them, I, I met Rose before – she was even in the UFC. She was, she was Pat's girl, and I met her then, and I oh. knew she was an aspiring fighter. Like, they're together together. So I wasted this candle for... Uh... Oh, well, what, can, what it, I mean... I put a I, candle. This one here, this particular one is peach cilantro. So it's heavy some peach, but it also have like, the sting of cilantro, you know? Well, you seem to be a little extra tonight, though, with the candle and the... What, just because I'm wearing a cashmere sweater and because my hair still has some of the water from my bubble bath? Yeah, whatever. Well, you bring up a good point, though. I actually, uh, if you noticed, I bought some flowers today, too, because I do treat myself nicely. You know, you treat yourself nice, for her. I do. Because yeah. if, if you don't treat yourself nice... That's what I try to tell some people, but they don't want to listen to that. Okay, but I'm, I actually, now that you say that, I have a candle here, too. Should I, I'm not sure if this one is, is this appropriate for our show? It's called a gyp, it's called African Sunset. Oh, God, are you? African Sunset? Well, now you're speaking my language, God, are you? That well, sounds that, like I a know. sexual position or something <laughs> like that. It sounds like oh. something, it involved kind of lingus, like I gave her the African Sunset. You what understand? would that even be? What would that be? That's where, you know, I just figured it out, even on my own, just now. The African sunset is going to be like where if you're eating a woman, uh, you know, whoever, if you're, if you're eating her vagina, not her, Why not, not like though? a zombie, not eating her to death, like eating or uh, lick her pussy, whatever. You, it's not a cannibalism, it's just a sex. Um, so we're three minutes into the show. Okay, but but listen, you wanted to know. You asked what was an African sunset, and you said what would that be? And I'm gonna tell you what popped in my mind. Okay, I'm I'm still sweat from the bath. Um, so now, I think maybe she's on the couch or like the love seat, 
I'm there, and instead of just to lick the chop part with the the with the have the the good part on there, you're gonna start maybe the butthole, Bohan, and then you go like that, carayu, up to the top, and and that's an African sunset, <laughs> or would that be a sun highs? Maybe that's the sun highs, something like that. Well, anyway, never mind. Sorry, mom. You know, my mom likes to watch this show sometimes. You want to know something? Guess how you came here. You, your mommy didn't, the, the stork didn't brought you over here. Your mom was listening to Hege music and smoked marijuana and let uh, uh, some kind of your dad uh, do sex to her. So let, let's, you know. Let's she's not, Jamaican. Let's, she's yeah. Jamaican, but she's so not that kind of Jamaican. Listen, the host of, ja, Haile Selassie didn't, uh, didn't deliver you, uh, um, you know, in the middle of the night. You, your mom was doing something for her. Even missionary, but she was did something. So sorry. You know, I'm bummed because Shannon did. I, I thought I saw him for a second, trying to say hi, and he and he and he went away. He um, bounced because he don't want to hear about uh, ham page. I'm sorry, Shannon. No dis no disrespect. I just I didn't. I, the timing didn't work out, and I would love to have him on. But you know, we should. We I should am have both. The rampage. Rampage is my homie. But you know what though? I just have an idea. We should have ham page and fucking Shannon. Uh, on the same one. We gotta make that happen. Yes. We gotta make that happen. That will definitely happen. Yes. Uh, so Shannon, if you, now, now I'm paranoid. No, you're fine. I never seen you do that before. It was just that first time. And look, okay. it, it, the fan's not gonna mind. You know how to fix that one. Okay. So yeah. yes, he, he, if he wants to come back sometime, uh, that would be great. And yes, to have Quentin and Shannon on together would yeah. be amazing. I, I, I don't mind that. Okay. I gotta adjust my candle kind of. Oh yeah. Okay. What what did you say your scent was? Uh, uh well, this scent is, is uh, uh peach cilantro, uh, the herb cilantro. Uh, but you know what? I think that that you know I, I think that I deserve to have uh my own fragrance, my own candle. Yeah. Okay. You know, and I, I'm not I'm not uh, opposed. You know, everybody know that my skin color is is you know is have properties the same as egyptian cinnamon you know imported cinnamon um but for you if you was to have a candle yeah. we gotta make something you know what i i'm thinking myself because you know you have it you have the the, the background from the island and stuff uh -huh. and then also but people know when you're doing your jump hope videos yes they see the cakes on there you know so i think with you if you have a sanch it's gonna be called like a Jamaican hum cake. How about that? It's like you pour the Jamaican hum on that one, on the cake, and it cascade on the, it cascade on the lower back, and it's, it's yeah. Oh, God, are you? Okay, I can so only imagine the Jamaican hum. Yeah. Jamaican, Jamaican rum cakes yeah. is my sense. And you Jamaican are hum cakes. Not just cake, but the cakes, because the cake. you, you have it both on there. The cake. Yeah, I mean, I'm 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 half Jamaican, but uh, yeah. Oh well, those cakes is all Jamaican as far as I'm concerned. But yes, I'll I'll take it. Those com those cakes is Jamaican as far as I'm concerned. Okay. They're definitely yeah. they're definitely spiced rum. Oh, well, don't let's let it's heating up in here. Um, uh, between you and then oh, but you know what? Then we have a patch. We have patch is gonna came and, and well, that's yes. To who in the threesome? It, it this what could have been a threesome now it's a now it's a what you call a clusterfuck <laughs> but whatever i you know what i i don't want to be negative i i i i'm a fan of chupad there okay so hanato i have a couple of questions for you before yeah. uh before i guess join i know you yeah. know like i said they, they they were out on a run uh so they'll be joining us and and i and as i said i told people um about our new game that we're going to be playing fact you where i'll be asking them some questions but i also did say that you know if say again had... the game is called what fact you fuck you too wait we are how dare you i've never heard you talk like that to me f-a-c-t oh fact fact well, like, your, I mean, your accent sometimes it's your accent but it's okay you'll have like a jamaic well, slash american slash jamaican to be slash. honest i actually don't I don't think I have any accent. I'm from Boston, and most people don't oh. even know that because well, most you don't people have from like, Boston talk. Did you ever? Different. Did you have that have, have that horrible accent? I never did. 
and maybe oh. it's because I always knew I was going to be a broadcaster, but I actually never did pick up well, a Boston. You know accent. what my theory is? That it, of course you didn't. You know why? Why? I, my theory is that people, um, you don't get the accent unless your parents um, also yeah. had that one. So it, 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 if your parents don't sound like that, then you're not. That's not the first stuff you learn. You know. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, because my dad was from Virginia and my mom's from Jamaica. So, you know, yeah, I didn't have, I never, I never had the accent. But, um, but we will play fact to you. But also, um, I wanted to get your take on, uh, uh, there, okay, so Dan Hooker recently uh, won a fight and we know how good Dan, wait, wait, okay. I just was curious what your take was on Dan Hooker, Australian guy who is going to be, you know, fighting Islam, they're going to go over and fight Island. Like a lot of people don't want to fight Islam. Dan just fought. We know that he's one of those guys that's just game for everything. Well, how the figured... guy's gonna? Dan Hooker is fighting against Islam as a as a faith. I mean, <laughs> no, not the faith. What what he's doing? I don't understand. You he's said he's fighting Hachim. against Islam, and people. You said not a lot of people want to fight against Islam. No. Machachev. It's a person. I'm not talking about the Excuse faith. you. I mean, uh, Kazunchai. Islam Machachev is an incredible Yeah, fighter. Islam, the religion. And then, are you, you have your allergies? Every time you say Islam, then you go, Machach. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm talking about the fighter. Islam Is Machachev. the flowers bothering you? Move the flowers. Yes. Because every fucking time you say Islam, then you're, then you're, you're talking about Machach. I was curious what your take was on that fight because I think it's going to be incredible. But you know what? We're maybe just going to have to do that another time because you know why, Hanato? Why? Oh! Okay. Because the champ is here! Oh. There you are. There you are. I, wow, what an experience for you. You're finally, finally getting to, to talk to you, Uncle Hanash, on the person. <laughs> It a, yeah, I'm super excited. <laughs> I, I, I would be excited too. Um, I, I, I put a candle for you. Oh, so you can, nice. you know, no pressure. How'd you I'm know just, you candles? know, we're going to, we're going <laughs> to do a candle, maybe some essential oil. I, I, I took a bubble bath before uh, you came. Yeah, and I'm I sorry, was, Rose. Well, I'm sorry. speaking of holes, I was put some fresh flour in there. And mm -hmm. then also, I need sprinkle. My secret is I need put some essential oil. I need put some <laughs> some frankincense in there, and also some <laughs> you know some of the other ones, some nutmeg and stuff like that. You like that? I see your dimple. Yeah, how'd, you, how'd you know? <laughs> well, your dimples just come out when I said that. So, God, are you? So, so listen, Rose. Thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate it. You are a champion with, I'm sure, a lot of other better things to do. Um, but oh. I. Don't be so sure. I know sure you are preparing yeah. for the rematch. I'll show you what I'm doing. Yeah, what you I'm, I'm put. Oh, I'm recovering. Nice. <laughs> oh, God, are you? What's that? Yeah, that's, what, that's my recovery. <laughs> recovery. Yeah. Huh. So Sorry, you guys were ahead. just out running. So how long of a run do you guys do at night then? Gosh, I just got done doing uh, six and a half miles. Okay. And what's yeah. the pace on that kind of thing? So I think I was running around like an eight minute mile pace. Okay. Well, yeah. Now, now, um, 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 the patch is able to keep up with you. Oh, he was on the bike. <laughs> of course, he's on the bike. God, are yeah. you? You, you would, you, you would uh, annihilate him in a, in a foot hex, no? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> he could get me one time, but then like ten times after that, he's done. Oh God, yeah. Are you? yeah. So he's, well, he's just... a sprinter. He's built. He's built for sprinting too. He's not like a long distance guy. As a woman with a lot of thigh, I re relate to Pat very well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's thick. Yeah. He's thick. Yeah, yeah the, the stamina needs some work. <laughs> He's thick and lovely. Um, oh God, I, does he talk shit like from the bike? You know, like like to yeah. inspire you, or he just do whatever. I I kind of talk shit to myself, really. So uh, like he, like yeah, come on, what kind of stuff you say to yourself? And still, and still. Oh. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So, so you give like... yourself positive reinforcement, right? Because it is interesting to me, a lot of people, yeah. how, how, how people respond, right? We see some, some people in general, athletes, I'm not even just talking fighters, but some people respond to uh, negative reinforcement. You didn't do this. You didn't do that. You got to go in there and do this thing. Yeah. And obviously for you, positive reinforcement seems to be the thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess like for the most, like nine times out of 10, that's definitely the way to go for me. 
mm-hmm. um, because I'm kind of like constantly beating myself up anyway. So I'm like constantly having to like positive reinforce myself. But um, but I guess, you know, there are the, I, I do get lazy sometimes, too. So, you know, every once in a while, somebody does have to say, like, get off your ass, Rose. <laughs> but like very rarely. Yeah. So, so yeah. it's like um, it's, you do like a, what's his name? Um, um, Diego Sanchez, you know, where he's like, a, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, sometimes that can can do that. You know, you have to trick yourself. If I'm doing some stuff and I can't get through it, I have to tell myself like, I love this. I love this. Ah, yeah. I yeah. love to have. I love this shit. God, I you. All in here, you man. Know? Yeah. But what what don't you like doing, Rose? Because you you know you've been at this for a while. You're obviously clearly very successful. But I have you know a lot of times people say they hate going to wrestling practice. So I'm curious, is there a part of this? that you enjoy the least where you require the most positive reinforcement? Um, I would say almost like every part of, I, I think it's just like, you know, taking pictures and like, you know, doing like, a, I, like, I guess like media stuff is kind of probably the most challenging thing. Yeah. But um, I've also learned how to like, kind of use it to benefit me and sort of like use it as, as a way to prepare myself. So I've learned how to like anything that I don't like, like even um, even the times where I just I, I don't want to do the ice bath or this and that. Like I oh. find a positive in it because the ice I, I just, bath. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> but oh. I but I learned to like conquer those things, all the things that I don't. Like, you know, really like. <laughs> Hose, Hose, tell me what you think of this. You know, because I see that he's got you in the ice bath and stuff like that, and you know, I think if you was to maybe try a different trainings like with myself. I'm going to put instead a warm bath and with, a bu- <laughs> with some bubble don't, and some, don't, don't, don't. or like a bath bomb or something like that. And Love like it. I said, how, how nice would it be instead of cold water, you're going to do a, a, a warm water with essential oil. <laughs> you're really on this. On this Can you imagine? <laughs> and then I'm going to put maybe a Sade just to relax your mind. I like Sade. Get, yeah, I, I bet. Yeah. Who does? What, a, <laughs> what, a, uh, what a coincidence. I'm, I'm like Sade too. Yeah. I also like a Keith Swatch, and you know you can mix it up, whatever. There's no, there's no holes. Why are we putting holes on this stuff? You know. Totally. And I don't, I don't think anybody listens to Keith Sweat anymore. Well, you're talk, it, That's that's why you. That's why you you you're not winning like your uncle Hanash. Your uncle Hanash is still <laughs> still doing that. That's why he's have the results. The yeah, results speak for okay. themselves. You understand? I guess. I guess. So, <laughs> Rose, question for you: You have a rematch coming up. Um. You know, I believe in your life, you've had a couple of rematches, right? Yeah. Yeah. So do you like that mindset? I mean, you know, obviously you were successful the first time. Uh, so does that just give you all the confidence in the world? Like, how do you approach a rematch when you've already won the first time? Um, I feel like I'm very successful. I know I'm very successful in my rematches because um, I'm, I'm the most, I feel like I'm, the most adaptable, uh, quickest learner, I feel mm-hmm. like, and, you know, that I've ever kind of, I don't know, uh, as far as, like, my other competition and stuff. Mm-hmm. And um, so I do enjoy, like, the, the, the advantages that I have in rematches because I am such a – I feel like um, I learn my opponents really well and I game plan very well. Mm-hmm. But, um, but I do feel like uh, – Sometimes it is sort of a, it, it can get into your head a little bit and it's very psychologically demanding. So it's, it's, it's one of those things that I look forward to the challenge, but it is a challenge for sure. Yeah. Well, and I would also think it's extra challenging because, you know, on the other side of this, Zhang Wei Li is the one who didn't win the fight and you know, she's over motivated, you know what I mean? To get revenge. So it's like, if, I guess if, if any time in the rematch, if you're the one who won the first one, you never really are going to coast much, though, because you know that person is, like, doubly motivated to, to beat you. Right, yeah. I think, um, yeah, that definitely, you know, gets me up in the morning and it gets mm-hmm. me um, training harder is knowing that, uh, knowing that she's going to be very hungry and stuff like that. But, you yeah. know, at the end of the day, as long as I have the desire and, and know what it is that I'm doing, um, somebody can want it as much as they want and uh, as, as much as ever, but it's, it can only, you, you still got to be the better fighter. Right. So at the end of the day, I'm very confident in that as long as, 
I stay focused and do exactly what I'm supposed to do and take care of business. Yeah. You, uh, I, for some reason on this episode, uh, Karen, they're giving me all kind of flowers and they're saying, we love you. You know, I, I've never seen so many uh, flowers that people is coming on this. And I feel like uh, I feel like we're gaining a fan base here who is excited from me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's probably for the champ. Yeah, right. <laughs> I hadn't thought about it that way, but I mean, it could be that. Essential oils. <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh, wow. If you want to go back to that, we can talk about yeah, it. Yeah, there, there, there are a lot of, I mean, she's popular, Hanato. I mean, it's yeah. just. Well, yeah, well, you know, but I'm just grateful that um, you decided to left. Uh, uh, where is he, Patch Barry? You know, you, you didn't brought Patch. Patch and just... he, he's still here, man. Where's the Patch? Let me just see that one. Patch. It's Patch. Patch. Hey. 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 Yo, what's happening? Speak of the devil. And making he is up here. Huh? I'm making dinner, man. I'm busy. You're making the dinner. What are you making? Red beans and rice with a smoked turkey leg and a smoked sausage. Oh, God. Smoked rice, sausage. Kale salad and juice. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm going to step up my gaming. You, <laughs> I got to <laughs> offer some. I'm going to offer some different menu then. No, nah, but you can't, you can't get that on Grubhub. Uh, no, well, that's not a Grubhub. <laughs> now, let me. <laughs> Now, let me ask you, where you came from originally, uh, Patch Barry? New Orleans. That's what I thought. OK, yeah. I didn't know that, because no one ever talked about you as being one of the Louisiana guys. And I yeah. said, why the fuck this guy sounds like a Cajun? <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. said, that's what I said. I said, <laughs> why he sound like, where he got that from? Yeah, I thought, people, people I thought maybe he him. was like Steven Segal. You know how on Lawmaker? He did that fucking accent that came out of nowhere. Yeah. You know, he's like, you know, he did the Cajun stuff. That make all the sense now in the world. You, right. you, people, you really people, from there. people don't know I'm from New Orleans. People don't know I'm black. Like, well, I know that. Well, cause we talk about that shit because uh, people don't know about you. Uh, um, um, our boy, uh, Lion Harch, like, or I call him Light Skinned Harch. Light yeah. Um, <laughs> A lot of people don't know that shit, but people who have it black in them, it's like a gay guy. We can yeah. tell. You go, do, 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 do. You go, that person, is he black? Yep. Yeah. You can, you can, inst you instantly know. Yeah. You and then when know. you put the head beans and heights and the greens and all that shit, oh, God, yeah. are you? Right. Very nice. Yeah. So, so listen, you know, Pat, it's funny because I, I use you as a reference point a lot. Yes. Um, remember back in the day, and I, and I, and I, you, we did an interview and you were talking about how on the walkout, you ask your team, am I ready? Am I ready? Yeah. And they're like, no, you ready, Pat, you ready. And you're like, are you sure? Are you sure? And that story always stuck with me because I think it's so incredible what you guys as fighters do. Yeah. And yet the fact that you were so honest about the fact that like, yeah, you trained and yeah, you did all this stuff, but literally still in that moment where you're going to put all that work and just show it off. And at the best part, you're like, oh, shit. Like, oh, oh shit. shit. Like, it's crazy to me. It's just We're crazy. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, Which that, fight that, was that? All of them. Oh, oh, that's what you always feel. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's the last little bit of reassurance. Right? Right? Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure that I've done most of what I was supposed to do. And <laughs> you're ready for this fight. And then, uh. Yeah, I've got to. I just got to get the head, the, the thumbs up from somebody else. Because right. if you ask me, I'm not. <laughs> but even on the days when both of you, when you felt most like on the fights that you had your best performance, can you go back and look and see how confident you felt before it as you were walking there? Like, do you guys recognize the, the difference now in, in different fights and your confidence level and that kind of stuff? I think there's diff for me it's like different voices like different I I want to say like I don't want to sound crazy but like <laughs> different personalities you know like uh -huh. um, like there's the <laughs> there's the uh, <laughs> you know I got Nagy Nunes in there who's like always keeping me on my toes like she's mm -hmm. always like kind of talking shit like you suck or <laughs> you know whatever and then uh and that that she's kind of like you know just keeping me ready and pushing mm -hmm. me to go harder and then. You know, I but then I got like Thug Rose who comes in and it's like, no, watch out, everybody, like I'm about to do this, you know. So, yeah. um, so I think all those voices, it's just whoever's speaking at that time, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, and there's there's a moment 
there's a, a right time for each voice to be to be speaking. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. you know. I think the negative voice is like um, I think it's just your body trying to tell you like it knows that you're getting nervous and that something's happening, and I think yeah. it's trying to get you to just stop doing this because <laughs> it don't want you, you know just like it don't right. want you to get hit by a car. Yeah. So I think it's trying to do the high thing, but yeah. you yeah. got you tell it like we don't need you right now. You we love you. <laughs> You're great, but right now you got to shut the fuck up because the thug hoes need to take care of business here. Right. And right. we got to make some money so I can feed you fucking ass. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. I think it's not even a negative. I think it's just trying to save you. But yeah. it it just don't understand why yeah. you would go into a situation like that. Right, yeah, you like know? traumatize yourself. Yeah, yeah right. even, even in performance, you know, like uh, your Uncle Hinach, if I'm do. TV, movies, plays, uh, 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 modeling, when I'm doing Hunway modeling, whatever I'm doing. <laughs> at, at first, I feel like a little nervous here. And then I, and, and I think it's my body going, hey, look, we don't need to put ourselves out there. Just go home, relax. And yeah. then I go, now, the people need to saw that one. Wait. The yeah. people, my public is deserve that. You you <laughs> Thank you, Hinato. Yeah. Yeah, Thank we you. all appreciate Well, you're well. <laughs> we, Say again, we appreciate Hobie. that. You know, you know, Rose, what do you what do you make of your time in the UFC? You know, we we, we met obviously, well, we met a long time ago, but the world met yeah. you as a UFC fighter through the yeah. ultimate fighter. And you were so successful on the show, it didn't go your way at the end, but you know, your time in the UFC has been so interesting. And I'm curious if you like already look back and go, man, I've done a lot of stuff in like a little time. Like it's been pretty wild. Yeah, I like retired like 10 times. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, uh, um, yeah, it's been quite a roller coaster and uh, it's been an awesome journey. You know, yeah. it's it's been so fun. It's been crazy at times, really hard. And yeah, you could definitely make a few different movies, I feel like. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but I, yeah, I love, I love every second of it too. And I, I really appreciate um, just being able to go out there and compete again. And um, I'm really looking forward to November 6th, even though it's like every step of the way is like, all right, <laughs> a little closer. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm equally as very, like very excited for this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. It's, it's yeah. exciting. Hinata, did you have anything to say? No, I'm just soaking it in. I'm I, I don't want to step. You know, I'm I'm trying to let you guys get a get a couple words. Well, I didn't want to step. I didn't want to step on you. I, I and I but know. Trust me, I, there's plenty of stuff. So you know, if you want me to keep talking. Go ahead now. No, we're we're gonna get to the fact you game in a bit. Uh, but I I do have another question. So what do you make of uh Zhang Wei Li going to train with Triple C now? Obviously, um, he is a a wrestler. You know, he's a, he he won Golden Globes as well. We know Triple C is incredibly talented at a lot of things. But the wrestling is a big deal. Zhang Wei Li came over. She's been training with him. Does that give you any, I mean, it should probably, any signals about what she's going to maybe try with you? Or just what did you make of her coming over here to change her training uh, for the rematch? Um, it really, I don't think it matters too much. I think, um, you know, I, I think anything that she's doing now has got to be, got to be a little bit better than what she's doing before. You know what I mean? She's got to be a little bit, smarter a little bit better but um but ultimately she's got to still worry about me so um that's a tall order and oh god are you <laughs> and uh yeah so i mean she can come in and you know and and do whatever henry cejudo is doing or whatever you know what i mean but we're we're all ready for that we got you know a, a pretty all-star corner myself so it's it's uh i'm, I'm ready for it all i bet yeah. Yeah, you have a patch, you know. Um, and I noticed he 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 yeah. give you he, he he give you like that. What he says to you, you guys, they have a videos. You guys say stuff back and forth to each other, like, I'm the like I'm the best. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. the best. You're the fucking best. Yeah, you're the fucking best. If you and I, let's say something unfortunate was to be found, patch, and <laughs> let's say. You and I is is I kind of pick up the torch where patch was left okay. off. What yeah. kind of stuff you think we would say to each other? Like, <laughs> like, oh, God, I look at you. Look at those dimples. And then I go, and you see the dimple there? Yeah. I go, and you go, look at you, dimple. And I go, look at you. And then you go, look at And then we get jazzed up. Wait, where's your dimple at? Let me see. Where? 
<laughs> there you go. I see it. I see it. Um, so I yeah. feel that we would have a connection from that, and we would kind of like get a different vibe going, you know? Yeah, yeah, I can see and, that. And you would get energy from that. <laughs> yeah, and you would want to 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 win so that you can you can keep our relationship alive yeah. and to thrive me. Yeah. You know, yeah, just, just. <laughs> oh God, are you? Look. At I that. will. I will. I will ask. Hanato, I do have a question for you. Yeah. As a 27-time Jiu-Jitsu world champion, what do you make of Rose's mm. abilities with her submissions? We have seen her get them from all kinds of positions. We've seen her, you know, sort of jump into them. We know I, that that is something that is always, always a threat. And I was just curious, since you, you know, are the specialist here, uh, what yes. your take was and, and basically on, on Rose's jizz. Well, my take is this. I, I, you know, everybody who can see who watched the fight, she, you know that she's the, one of the most well-hounded of the male or the female, you know, yeah. there's no place where she look awkward or whatever, and she's always <laughs> she's always gonna be dangerous anywhere, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, I wanted to. I wonder who is your jujitsu coach here? Oh, you're right here. Oh hey. God, are you? What? Hey. What's going on here? You got a whole the the whole crew here? Yeah. yeah I thought it was yeah. just a, a a romantic head beans and heist dinner or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh. that's that's another night. <laughs> oh, no, we yeah. uh we we um so. So Greg has been my, um, Greg Nelson, been my uh, jujitsu coach ever since like my amateur career. Um, wow. moved to, yeah, and, and we lived there in Minnesota for a few years and we moved to Colorado, yes. met Trevor. And then ever since, um, ever since. Uh, oh, Trevor, white the, man? Yeah. Whitman. Yeah, white man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the white, wait, the white man, white man, whatever. Wait, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like you, Trevor, white man. Um, yeah. And then also. <laughs> Yeah, it, you, your coach, you have a great coach too. Yeah, I yeah, mean, he's been yeah. a, he's a fan of mine for a long time. Right? He's, yeah. <laughs> Is that why he's great? Because he's a fan of yours? Well, you know, the people who appreciate the original one, you know, and he's like a student <laughs> of the game. So he, you know, he, yeah. he's, he's take from the uh, the original ones, you know? Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. So, so yeah, we, we, got, a, we got a pretty good um, corner. <laughs> you so sure whatever, do. Whatever Henry and them is bringing, we're, we're prepared for all that. Nice, nice. Yeah. You know, I, I am curious for you, Rose, you know, um, when we look at Valentina, when we look at Amanda, they're both so incredibly dominant. And as the other female champ, I'm curious what you sort of, if you take any inspiration from them or if you, you know, what you think when you, when you look to them. Because for me, I mean, I, I live vicariously through both of them. They are so supremely amazing at everything they do. Like, it, it's it just makes me feel good to watch them. I like watching excellence in motion. I don't care who it is, but but they, I find Amanda and Valentina to be quite inspiring. Yeah. Um. So I trained with Valentina for quite a while, and yeah. Um. I I consider her to be like if if we weren't like if we didn't you know weren't in fighting, I guess like it would be cool to be you know be better friends with her. But um, she's the time that I did train with her, I I absolutely like I don't. I genuinely have like I, I genuinely like that girl. Um Me too. Amanda Nunes, she's always been cool ever since you know, I've met her a few times and she's yeah. been pretty cool to me. Um yeah. I don't know her as much, but obviously I draw inspiration right. from her as well. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean I'm always like uh I, you know, Valentina in particular, I, I just because I've witnessed the way she trains and, and mm -hmm. just her style and everything. I've always, uh, and then I've seen how she lives her life, and I constantly, like, you know, look at my life and go, okay, well, what would Valentina do? <laughs> and yeah. it sound, you know, kind of corny, but, like, I literally, like, I'm like, you know, it kind of pushes me to, to go a little bit harder, to do a little bit more, <clears throat> to be a little more badass, so. Well, she do a lot of languages. She speak a lot of language. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe you gotta do that. Languages, so I gotta. Oh yeah, you're up there. My game. <laughs> Wait, what is it? Is it Croatian? Uh, Lithuanian. Oh, sorry, my 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 fault. Can you speak yeah. a little bit of that one so I know what it sounds like? Can you yeah. say some yeah. stuff to me? Tikre, labe idomo kalbenso tavim labe yokingas labe kalbo doka. It, it sounds like a um a, a combination from uh Haitian and Portuguese. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little it kind of sounds like if you put that together. You know, there's a lot of Haitian in my neighborhood. I live in Hollywood, like Hollywood, West Hollywood. There's a lot of Haitians and stuff. I try yeah. to talk to the girl. You know, I say like a ti yeah. and stuff like that. I go. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, I know, I know like two words in Russian, but yeah. <laughs> but I awesome. I agree with you, and it's funny that you say that because I I remember leaving a media lunch one time with Valentina, and we were talking about different things, and she was talking about how she likes to celebrate by eating chocolate cake, and I'm like, oh my god, I know all these great cake places in LA, and I literally wrote said the same thing to myself. I'm like, man, if Valentina lived here, we'd be besties. Like, yeah. like I want to hang out with that girl. Like, I yeah. just, and you're right. Like, she, 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 and I, you know, I speak a few languages too, but I'm like, I don't speak them as well as Valentina does. And like, yeah, same thing. Like, I want to be her friend, you know? And then when you see her with Hallie, you're like, yeah, yeah. like, yeah, yeah. like, let's yeah. all hang out. Come yeah, I want to be her friend too. Let's hang out. You, yeah. you think she want to be friends with me too, Karen? I don't yeah. think so. No? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, you I will bring say that she does love to train. So uh, I, I think she's willing to learn from any and everybody. Even myself. Uh, um, um, I think, you know, Hoss, I think that Karen is checked me for Granch, you know? <laughs> One day, your Uncle Hanach not going to be here to kick her home, you know? Five shows, five shows in, and I've already taken you for Granch. Yeah, you're checking me for Granch. You know, she get used to this shit, to seeing this. Imagine if she had to look at somebody, some dusty, uh, other, one of her <laughs> other co-hosts. Imagine. And then she yeah. gets to look at this shit, and then she gets too comfortable, you know? <laughs> Wow. Hey, so listen, if Pat isn't too busy cooking, I would love if he could play back to you as well. Because, Rose, I have five questions for you and five for Pat. Oh, Pat. And, all right, cool. So if, if you get them correct, it's back to you. If you get them wrong, it's back to me. Um, <laughs> and Hinato is going to kind of be our referee, whatever. I'm going to be the point, referee and the judge and stuff. And trust me. Yeah, I have a shitty sense of who should win and who's going to lose. Okay. Okay. And at some point, I would love it if, if we actually are, like, playing for prizes for charity or something like that. Well, you can play for, uh, you know, maybe I, I'm going to give a, a private, a jiu-jitsu private. Private. And then if, <laughs> if Patch win, maybe he can have a T-shirt or some shit like that. <laughs> You're going to have a T-shirt. Right. And then, yeah. But, okay. yeah. Okay. Because okay. okay. he don't need jujitsu. He's already too good. I ain't okay. gonna get too close. <laughs> okay. So, Rose, do you remember how many significant strikes you landed against Joanna in New York? Oh, uh, what the second time or the first time? This was the. That's a good question. New York. Was... Well, you couldn't have had both in New but York. They were both in New York. One was. Oh. In... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> was one Madison Square Garden? Yeah. They were both. Wait, shoot. Because I'm Both like, of that ones was Madison every, okay, Square Garden. Let me ask you a different question. Oh, uh, you're already <laughs> fucking up. <laughs> I answer with a question, you see. Well, okay. Well, actually, it doesn't matter which one is if you, if you just oh, okay. give me them both. It's, give me two guesses then. Okay. That way I'll just. So I'm guessing the first one's got to be like in the 22. Maybe it's a 22 or something. The second fight had to have been like. 90 <laughs> yeah so i'm not talking yeah i'm not talking percentage i'm talking the number the oh. number of significant strikes the number of significant strikes that you landed oh. and yeah it would be the second one then not the first okay gosh significant strikes yeah i mean what's like on the average like what's like that the was average a good fight. fight i don't know you guys set up like you guys threw down I was in it. I know it was a lot of strikes. I know. I, I, that's why I was thinking, like, I mean, that's a, is that a lot? I don't know. Yeah, is 100 a lot? I'm going to say one, 102. <laughs> oh, so close. Fact me, it was 105. Wow, that's a fucking lot. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot of not significant. Lot. That's not even just strike. That's significant strike. Yeah. No, it was 105. You threw 301. Like, wow. that's amazing. Wow. Right. right. Man. Okay. So, uh, Pat. Okay, I, I can ask this question a few different ways. At UFC 104, oh, who did you beat and, what did, and, and, and did you get any bonuses? Anthony Hardoff, fight of the night, and uh, performance of the night. Or, no. Knockout of the night. Yeah, knockout. knockout <laughs> yes, oh. that is correct. Fact you. Anthony I forgot Hardoff. about that fight. That was a good and, one. Yeah, I was at that one. <laughs> Hardoff. Now, how hard was his kicks, his leg kicks? 
his he kicks he kicks very hard. Yeah. But <laughs> I've never um I've been my left leg is pretty Condition. conditioned to getting kicked. It yeah. Takes, it takes a lot. You know, right leg but, not so many, but my left leg yeah. has been pretty conditioned. So he kicks hard. Yeah, because I've I've mixed it up with him a little bit, and he's you know he's a big he's a different size than me. Yeah. I call him Pa Donkey Kong. <laughs> yeah, he's a nice guy though. You get along with that guy, no? No, he's yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's a great guy. He got a good sense of humor. That guy. It's hard. He, as, as a, he's like a naturally big guy. His yeah, leg, now he's more he's chunky. Like, yeah, but my left leg is pretty dead. Okay. Yeah, Anthony is great. He's a friend of mine, uh, and he has a gym here in L.A. For people who know, he trains Jordan uh, Wright, the Beverly Hills Ninja, and uh, Anthony is a is a is a really great guy. So yeah, yeah what's the yeah. gym again that he that he's in? Uh, it's called Dynamics. Yeah, Dynamics. So if you live in the the Southern California area, go check out Hot Donkey Kong. Yeah, actually, <laughs> the very first time I ever interviewed Ronda Rousey was with over at Anthony's gym in Santa Monica. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because she, she was, was also there. with Henry Aiken, who was teaching Henry Aiken, right? Yeah. And, right. Whenever my buddy Gay Guard's in town, he trains with Anthony. <laughs> he's a great guy. Okay. So <laughs> Rose has. Uh, so it's fact me, and fact you for Pat Rose. You got. You got to get the next one. Okay. Okay. Right. Do you know the date, Rose, of the tough finale that you fought in? Do you know what day that was? Ooh, I think it was. I want to say it was. It was definitely December. I want to say, was it, I want to say it was either like 12th or 15th. I can't remember. Uh, or no, wasn't it like close to like Christmas or something? Yeah. I'm going to say it's 15th. What year? <laughs> uh, 2000, 2000, was it 14? Yeah, 2014. Okay, so your answer is December 15th, 2014? Yeah. To me, it was December twelfth. You were right the first time. Oh dang! I almost guessed it right. <laughs> oh man, this ain't this ain't. Come on, Halls, you gotta you gotta pick this up here. Yeah, yeah. This is all for right, all okay. the marble halls, guys. Oh. Yeah, it was it was December twelfth, two thousand fourteen. Yeah, uh, I don't know what was my gut instinct, my first, my first. Yeah, you were you were. You always you were gotta right. go the gut. Yeah, always, the gut is always the high one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Exactly. No, that's what they say if you're taking SATs or whatever. Okay, so Pat, mm -hmm. the night you beat LeVar Johnson, I did or not. You, fought, you fought LeVar Johnson. I did not. Oh, why <laughs> you got to bring up one that he lost? Okay. No, it was LeVar Birch. It was LeVar Birch. From, <laughs> the night you beat LeVar Birch. <laughs> yeah, from, from heating handball. What, what, who was in the main event? This was May 5th, 2012. Who was the main event? I don't know nothing. <laughs> He, he remembered the other shit. He, he remembered the hard donkey. The main event. Okay. The main event was Nate Diaz versus Jim Miller. Yeah, I don't remember what? that at all. <laughs> yeah. I remember uh, yeah, that fight. I don't remember that. I don't remember that feel like a long time ago. I know. <laughs> That's such a blast, blast from the past. Dang. <laughs> it is a blast from the past. But I just know all of us here, you know, we all, we all love us in Diaz. So here we go. Wait, okay, I got to. So. Okay. I just have a quick question that's off topic here. Go, go, go back, uh, uh, host. Let me see his hair. No, oh, uh, it's bad. It's yeah. bad. no, no, not that it's bad. No, I'm just curious. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious because we know, they know, unlike some people, we know that you're part black. Are yeah. you half black or a quarter black? Half. Half. Your, which parent is that one? Mom. Mommy. Okay, that's the unusual one. It's usually the other. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so you got the interest. Your dad must have had some smooth. Uh, a technique, um, you know those Cajun white guy. But yeah. but the question I have <laughs> no, for you, dad's white, my dad's the whitest guy from Michigan. But he's still those Michigan guys. Is cold. They 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 got some cold game on them. Uh, you know they've been <laughs> out there and they've been around the black guys from Detroit. So he know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Okay. Um. But but in any case, if you was to grow your hair, because none of us seen it, if you yeah. was to just let your fucking hair grow. Yeah, does it look who, like this? Who would it look like, like that we can <laughs> think of in the media? Guys. You 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 remember uh you remember Van Damme from Street Fighter? Yeah. Like from that. Street Fighter? Oh. Yeah. Just not blonde. Okay. From Street Fighter. Just every every <laughs> Van Damme movie when his hair was combed backwards, like that. Oh, <laughs> oh, like in uh Hard Target. Yeah. 
<laughs> no. So you... Not, yeah, not that long, no. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, can you imagine if you had that? I want to see you to look like El Debaj. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to be honest, I think you would look good with like the Macho Camacho, where he yeah. have like one curl. Come one here. Curl. <laughs> Woo! I had that on my left side. My oh. brother, <laughs> trust me when I tell you, put the curl here, put the hat tail here, put our gold <laughs> chains, and maybe some <laughs> some cologne, maybe like a, a loose fitting chank choppy. You in <laughs> business, my brother. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 Karen, you and my mom could be related. Like, y'all say the head, oh, really? skin tone, say all of that, man. And then my dad, I got so my hair's wavy. Yeah. yeah. Having the waves. Yeah. yeah, you got, you got, yeah. That's why you're Creole. Your mom is Creole for her. Yeah. 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 Very nice. <laughs> okay. So, third question Rose, mm -hmm. do you remember uh, the time? and uh, of the stoppage when you sank your rear naked choke on Michelle Waters and Karate Hottie, do you know the time of the finish? Well, it was in the second round, I think. Yeah. Was it like 231? 247, <laughs> 247. Dang, dang, man. So close, so uh. close. I remember that one though. That was a good fight. That was a really good fight. It was a really good fight. Yeah. 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 Very nice. Very okay. Okay. You, the, here's the thing, Rose. You're so close on all of these. You're just <laughs> like you're so close. Yeah. You're so close. Okay, Pat. Do you know the time of your win over Gary Goodrich? Fifty-one seconds of round one. You said fifty-one. Fifty-one. Is it fifty? Is it's one minute and seven seconds, they said. Of round one? Yeah, round one. That's quite. But I, this is yeah. not the official, the UFC stats website, so I didn't, I'm not doing this, but it says, well, that that was on Wiki because that was in the, the, the tournament. But it, that's it, it said it was, one minute it was, and seven it, seconds yeah, of was, round one. It's, okay, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go with that. Okay, so back to me on both of these. Okay. <laughs> I'll go with that. Back one to me. Seven. Okay, Rose. Yeah. When you fought Moriel Charneski at the King of the Cage. Oh, God, are you? Moriel. <laughs> what was the event called? Oh, oh. Well, yeah, definitely. I mean, the organization, what are you talking about? The... No, it was King of the Cage. Yeah. So you fought Moriel Charneski on March 17th, 2012. What was the event called? You know how they make the name like firework, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Bad blood or whatever. The yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, uh, I know. Yeah, it was something, right? Um, what was the date? Uh, it was Mar it was March uh, March seventeenth, two thousand twelve. Was it March? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, I want to say like. Yeah, now I'm even, I, I had an idea, but now I'm blanking. <laughs> I don't know. Was it the main event? Huh? That, that I don't know. It was just, it's just was it that, based like, on you them? know, the was event it... had a name. Hmm. And I'm just like, curious if you remember. Not like Fist of Fury or, I don't know. Right. <laughs> it was March Mania. It's so simple. Gosh, I wasn't even going to say March Madness. Just cause yeah, March Madness, I, March, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Rose, I'm winning. It's all back man, to me. It's imagine they was you tonight. It's they all was back grabbing, to me. They was grabbing at shit if they came up with that name. Imagine the the going like, I don't know. It's in fucking March, March <laughs> mania maybe. Okay. March mania, fuck it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I mean, God, are you just don't even call it nothing at that point? It's lazy. <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah it's, you know, March mania. It's yeah. really, it's really, really lazy. Like as okay. if the fan is going to be like, oh, God, I, oh, yeah, I got to get to that. Ooh. <laughs> right? Ooh, mania. Ooh, Ooh the mania. <laughs> Pat. Yeah. Uh, do you and, remember? A minute and seven seconds, Gary Goodrich. Okay, yeah, there you go. <laughs> do you remember your UFC debut? When was it and who was it against? Or like, if you could tell me anything about it, like oh, who it was Dan against, when it was, and what happened? Dan Evanson, December uh, 27th. 2008 uh in vegas <laughs> low kick stoppage he air tapped yes yeah, yeah. You know i was gonna say you gotta have that one karen this is a setup this two is a setup minutes and 30, 
two minutes and 36 seconds against Dan Evanson on December 27, 2008. He was like, yeah, no, I'm good. We were at the I, I think we're at the MGM Grand. You know, we had Christmas dinner, him and I and his wife. Really? We, we had Christmas dinner two nights before. I had dinner with him and his wife. You, you, you hobby in, Karen. Cool. You guys has worked on this before so that she didn't have to do a private with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out and I'm out, I'm out one Hanato Laranja t-shirt. <laughs> okay, listen, there's one last question. Ready. Okay, Rose, according to UFCstats.com, do you know what your takedown accuracy percentage is? Ooh, I think, is it 50%? Is seventy five? <laughs> yeah, let's 65. not get carried away. Sixty. Fifty five. Fifty two. Fifty three. Yes, fifty three percent. Well, she wins. Then she's the win. She yeah, yeah. she's the champion. Oh, congratulations! Oh, Hold you yes. can't lose. Yeah. Actually, and you can you can totally win this rose if you can answer the question. What's Pat's takedown accuracy? Oh, okay. I know the answer to this one. <laughs> zero. That's a zero yes! percent. <laughs> oh, God, are you? Well, I wish we had the air horn, the Jamaican air horn. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did. You You're did, right. You took down. It's zero. <laughs> it's zero. Sorry. It's zero. Sorry, Pat. Yeah. <laughs> very That's successful probably. round of fact you. Um, I think it, it was mostly fact me, but thank you for playing. Pat got some of his facts. Yeah. So got you, Pat. She, she got overwhelmingly more one height than he did. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, she's yeah. win that one. Congratulations. She, and of course she went, because she, she got his, she got the bonus. And also, I will say, yeah, I think Rose, I think your questions were harder. Oh, yeah. yeah for sure. Hose get performance of the night bonus, God, are you? Um, <laughs> So yeah, now, I gave it a good go. I, there's a couple questions. Uh, you know, I seen first of all, I seen I guess in, because I got confused. I guess some of these comments is for you when you see like all these ones that have like a holes on there. Yeah. Yeah. I thought at first they was throwing it to me like how you do after a play or yeah. at a at a ball fightings or whatever. But I guess some of at mm -hmm. least maybe a quarter of the flowers is for you. So there's hey. that. Oh, you have a cat there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at yeah. that. Is that like a Maine Coon or whatever? Yeah. Look at that one. <laughs> really? I learned, I learned about cats because chicks always have cats, and you got to learn who, <laughs> what kind of fucking cat it is. So you can be like, <laughs> you can pretend you like that one. And you go, oh, God, I, you look, he's eat from my hand. Okay, let's, get a, let's go into the bedroom and listen to fucking uh, Jodeci. Um, okay, so now... Um, <laughs> Uh, where was I for her? Um, <laughs> Probably sorry. kicking it to Rose unsuccessfully. What are you talking about? I I I keep it above board the whole time. Her her husband is for Christ's sake is standing right there or sitting right there. Um, yeah. But what was I talking about? Oh, so we know that 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 you're seeing a lot some horses there. That some of them have to be for you. And then also another question I get um, from some of the people, mostly the guys. More more the women is hitting on you, but then some of the guys mm -hmm. is ask. Now, this is interesting because uh, some of them is asked, oh, grow your hair back, grow your hair. I'm sure you get that all the time, okay? Yeah. The one thing before you answer, I want to say um, to you about that is for a woman to get away with the bald head cut, you have to be fine. <laughs> Not yeah. anybody can, most chick look like, I mean, <laughs> fucking horrible if you do that. So, you know, if a chick, you know, like the other holes, what's her name? Holes, uh... You know the one who's always with happers and stuff like that? The Instagram model type oh, of chick? Oh, Rose McGowan? No, not Rose McGowan. <laughs> the one who is like with, was with Wiz, uh, Amber oh, Rose. I'm Amber sorry. Rose. Oh, Amber, Amber Rose. Rose. You yeah. know, okay. she still looked fine as hell with that, you know? Yeah. And you imagine you sprinkle some hair, she looked good too. But anyway, <laughs> so some of these guys, you know, you can tell they, they only like a woman with the, the, the long hair, whatever. But for you... Is it a practicality or is it, is it you throwing a middle finger to like, fuck you, I don't need to have a hair, I don't want what, what, no, what's, your, what's your deal with that? It's definitely practicality for sure. So you don't um, have to keep doing this bullshit? Yeah, some bullshit for I sure. I can't blame you. I can't yeah, blame you Yeah, and then after wrestling practice, you wash your hair and it's just like a ball of... Uh, yeah, I yeah. feel like... And I'm you have all ball. that stuff from all those guys. It's like you can like hang out your hash guard and <laughs> the smell. 
Ugh. Yeah. You gotta put um uh, uh white vinegar on that one. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I never. I miss my hair sometimes though. Like. Well, like, yeah. I'm sure, but after you're done fighting, you can grow that one. You know, yeah, myself. In oh God, I you Dylan Dennis said that I'm a legend. You're welcome, Dylan. Um, <laughs> so you know, a, a, not unlike your husband there. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm, if you notice, have grown out. You know, I used to have the the short hair because it's so easy for years. For like 15 years, I had no. But yeah. now I'm grow back the curl. Yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> just to remind people that you know nice. I still got it like that, Paul. <laughs> yeah, I you actually understand? I remember yeah. in college I cut all of mine off because I used to get it. Um, if for all the black folks watching, uh, <laughs> I used to get my hair straightened, and because uh, my mom being Jamaican, like it was all about good hair, right? So I had to get my hair straightened, mm. and then when I got you know when I was in college and I was like I don't want to do this anymore, so I cut it all off, and and I remember. It was like a big deal. You had it bald? I, no, like I had a flat top. Like I'll show you. Like Ooh. it was like this, and then just like a little bit on top, right? So it's like it. So this was basically KB junior year <laughs> in college Ooh. was like this, like King like a Grace right? Jones, like a Grace right, Jones, Grace, right? So I was like this. This was like my hair. So I remember when I cut it off though, and I was working at my radio station, and I cut it off, and I was all like, "Yeah, I'm gonna like take ownership of my head." And I went, and then I cut it all off, and I remember going to the to the bathroom, and I was like, <laughs> I was like hyperventilating because I did it, and I was freaking out. And then it took a long time to grow back, and because I just wanted like my natural hair and stuff. But um, I remember, yeah, you told me like you were sick of it getting in the way at wrestling practice, and yeah. like I know a lot of the girls talk about how much of it gets ripped out. And like, it's almost like right. if you saw your opponent, she cut all her hair off too. But like, mm -hmm. it, it is a real thing about um, being a woman in this sport and balancing, still wanting to be a girl sometimes, and then being a fighter. And like, you've you've found a way, and I think this is kind of what Hanata was getting towards, that you found a, a way to make something that people would not think is quote unquote beautiful for a girl beautiful because it shows your spirit too. It's not just, it's the practicality is actually what's beautiful about it too. If you, yeah. if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think just being the simpler, the better, the more natural, the better. Oh, God, <laughs> you're all natural, all natural how I like that. Yeah. That's how I keep it. I, you know, I only yeah. put natural stuff in my hair too. You know? <laughs> Essential oils, probably, right? Well, all that <laughs> stuff and other secret stuff. Also, I put, you know, what my secret to great looking skin is, Halsey? Yeah, what's that? Uh, aloe vera. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, put that. I I'm grow yeah. that in my backyard and I am cut one off every morning when I have my coffee and I sleep in the nude. So I come out, I have my coffee, I come out on my deck. I, you like and I, wipe it on like that? Well, I cut a fresh aloe vera yeah. and I put that. And I let nature to dry that one. And, you know, the sun, the sun has <laughs> kissed my skin. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, you might want to <laughs> think about that. You know, it, 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 it's funny, Hanato, that you mentioned uh, that because, Rose, I'm looking at some of the questions here. And there is a question here from Tyler Barnes asking, what's been your favorite thing to plant in your community garden? Um, you know, I've actually really been enjoying, well, yeah, we got some beans on the on the um on the slow cooker right now, but I really oh, yeah. enjoy my bean the the scarlet red runner beans. Wait, Those what are is that? Super good. What's so up? you the ones he's cooking you grew? No, so no, I, those are just um extra. I didn't grow enough last year to 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 last, but yeah, but I did the 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 red beans that I did grow, and then I cooked. It was like some of the best beans I've ever had. I Wait, bet. so you're talking about like beans, like a bean, not like a green beans. You're talking about like a bean, like yeah, like yeah. that Cajun is cooking there? Yeah, I'll yeah. Show you. I can show you. Uh, beans. I gotta get but here, I never seen those grow in the wild. I, where you found yeah. beans? I wonder about that. Who the fuck grow beans? Like a bean? Pinto yeah, bean. Yeah, it's like a, like a big stock and, it, and yeah. I have it like on a trellis. Like the bean stock. Yeah. It's the bean stock, exactly. They have yeah. a book about that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you what I got so far. They're I don't know. Still... It, it ended okay, though, right? Ooh. Well, for some people, not for the Lakes. giant, for her, not for Patch Berry. Patch Berry yeah. is going to be like, I'm going to so be like that. These are when I grew He's so the giant. Far. Oh, nice. But you did, I got so wait a second. coming. You didn't trade, like, your farm animals for that little bullshit thing of <laughs> No. Huh? Oh, okay. look at this, though. I grew this. There's a butternut squash. Oh. Wow. 
Oh, I've had two of them. Here go the other one. That's a butternut nice. squash. Yeah. And yeah, I, grow, I, I grow I grow a zucchini over here, Paul, huh? And I grew these potatoes too. Wow. Yeah. Wow, you're growing all that stuff. I bet Pat don't even help on that. He's <laughs> yeah. He's oh, listening to music stuff. and he's on his phone. I grew some melons. Wow. These ones didn't do that well though this year. They didn't grow as big as I wanted them to. Let me see. Um oh I I I jarred all these peppers. Nice. Oh right. Cause yeah. yeah, you guys you do that fermenting and stuff, right? Like the kimchi. Yeah, yeah, I do I do um like here. I grew this too, my sauerkraut. Oh I love Jeez. sauerkraut. Yeah. So yeah, I, I grew a lot of shit this year. I just um it, it was a lot of traveling and stuff, so I didn't get as much yeah. as I could have, but I still got a, a decent amount of vegetables, so. Now, I got a question. Now, how come she said a community garden? Why you got to share the garden with the community for her? <laughs> well, because now uh, I'm, I'm getting closer to not having to, but. Uh, now, if you uh, was training. It's really expensive. When you yeah. do some of the, um, when you do some of the trainings with me, if you do like a camp or whatever. You're not gonna have to share our gardens with the community. Okay. It, we're gonna grow all the vegetable local. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's a yeah, let's farm do it. farm eat your table. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we uh we do have some raspberry bushes at the house though. So oh, that's fresh raspberry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nothing better than that. So wow. yeah. nice. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I when I grew up, my dad used to have a garden and he had like fresh strawberries and he did have zucchini and stuff and carrots and all that and yeah there really is something um to be said about like reaping your own crops right mm -hmm. like, that that's pretty cool like, yeah it's like printing your own money yeah. it is yeah. like that wow i wish i could print my own money god I just... <laughs> yeah all these kids is is, is is want some of that one everybody got a hands out for, for... <laughs> Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. So listen, so Rose, what do you, maybe the gardening, is it, what do you do in your downtime? I, we're not going to keep you much longer, but what do you, what do you do in your downtime? Um, you know, some folks are asking about like favorite movies of yours and different things. What do, what do you do to, to keep, to keep the balance and when you just need to kick back and have some fun? Um, gosh, that's a tough question. I don't have fun. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> um, we know you like to play the piano, so maybe that's yeah, part so, of it. Yeah, I play the piano. Um, you know, that that's also, I think, more of, like, a mental exercise for me. It's, like, mm -hmm. it's not so much, like, kicking back and relaxing. Like, playing the piano is, like, super intense. But I do mm -hmm. feel like it helps me um, a lot. But I don't know. I think just, like, hanging out with friends and, and just being mm -hmm. outside in nature and just kind of, like, you know, um, gosh, well, the gardening is meditative, no? Yeah, yeah. I it mean, seems yeah. like that's almost like a relaxation stuff. Yeah, for know? sure. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, but... Dylan Dennis even says, he knows because I, he knows that I grow my own acai and stuff like that. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to shoot my own horn. <laughs> I do. I have that. And also, yeah, I also make my own kielbasa. Uh, yeah. I, I'm my they call my place a Hillshire Farm, God, I, Ooh, because I I'm love, known I for my smoked sausage. I'm known for my kielbasa. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, but oh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, so anyway, where were we? Oh man, uh, you know, Hanato, uh, we were we were just about at the point where you were harassing her. <laughs> oh, harass? We was talking about farming, and we yeah. was talking about Dylan Dennis. And I and now I got all, all um, uh, fucked up here. <laughs> anyway, you got you got a little bit messed up. But yeah, okay. So Rose, before we let you go, because oh. I know you have to have your dinner. And well, not just yet. Yeah. The head beans and rice is is, wet, is gonna wait. Uh, you know, a, a, a lot of people. Now you guys been uh, together in a long uh, a long time. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, especially in a, in the public eye, in the fighting, in, in the you know through the belts, through the ups, the downs and stuff. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people I know, let's face, even a lot of most of the weddings I've been to, these people is already, you know, not together yeah. no more. Yeah. I still have some of the wedding gifts. I laugh because some of the playing cards I had from a Vegas wedding, you know, like this motherfuckers has been done uh, a long time ago. Yeah. So I, I wonder, like, for the people out there, what's because I know it can't be perfect. No, nothing's perfect, you know. Um, um, what's some of the stuff, the secret to 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 
being in a situation where you guys is together a lot of the time you're doing a lot of the same stuff and not want to choke each other to death gosh um you got to be best friends i think you got to be best friends because listen to that he blew his nose through that one <laughs> what a an uncouth this yeah, cajun is uncouth true. Yeah, no, he that's that's one of my pet peeves. He always does some shit like that or <laughs> I'm like unbelievable. Cough, and then he like cough real loud or <laughs> Is he the type of guy that that do a fart and say like who stepped on a dog whatever the fuck, you know? <laughs> or like uh, a, you, you know, blame it on yeah. the doggy. No, he's he's actually pretty good with that, but <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> But yeah, uh um, Who was the first in the relationship to lay the fart? Uh <laughs> probably me. <laughs> what? You you that's bold. Yeah. <laughs> you were testing the water. Yeah, yeah, man. Because Wait, the first be person <laughs> Yeah, but you drew first blood when you lay a fart <laughs> because that can go either way. You know the <laughs> fart can can also can be a turn off if you under the high the hung circumstance. Uh, you know? for sure a turn off. <laughs> yeah, but you know and then at a certain point it can be cute, but you know what? My take on, <laughs> my take on this the sound is don't bother me. Yeah. You know? The sound is cute whatever it's like funny. <laughs> but I don't want to smell that one. So <laughs> I can handle the one that he's have a lot of air and it's like <laughs> you know that kind of shit. Yeah. But I don't want to smell one that's have a lot of where I, when you smell <laughs> you can visualize all the different <laughs> stuff that's in there. You know? You can smell it have notes <laughs> notes of of pumpkin seed yeah. and uh curry goat and 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 cardamom oh shit and i don't want to smell that shit so i can feel the, the the auditory sense but the the nose i i had this <laughs> yeah you understand i yeah. i'm so sorry rose yeah i i'm so sorry well she's the one who said she she, she drew first blood not me yeah, she said that she was farch. asking them questions <laughs> she said that she was farch first okay so okay. i you know I'm glad that had been Paul Prudhomme, uh, the Cajun chef over there, didn't <laughs> lay the farts first over here. Yeah, I'm yes. happy from that. No. And, and and on on that note, um, clearly dinner is ready, and uh, we mm -hmm. should let you have your time with your team. But you know, it's so great. Like, just one one thing that's so fun is that there's just been so much positivity, and I think that's been a really great thing. Is that through the course of something that you know, outsiders perceive to be just nothing but violence. Those of us on the inside know that there's a lot more to the fight game than that, but, mm. um, but that you've really been able to sort of carry a torch for a lot of people and, and explaining um, the positivity of taking care of yourself and looking out for each other. And that while what you do may be a seemingly violent uh, 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 pursuit, you know, it's really all about your heart and your love and your team and all this. And I, I just think it's been really great that you've been able to send such positive messages yeah. um, while you're doing this. Yeah. Um, gosh, I mean, yeah, it would, it would kind of suck if it wasn't, you know, there's definitely, yeah. there's enough negativity out there. So, so if, if I can do something to, to, you know, brighten up somebody's day, I'm, I'm doing my job. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, you definitely, yeah. you guys is both inspiring people, you know, because you, you, you're living as a couple, I mean, on yeah. Twitch. I mean, if it's going to be somebody, I guess, <laughs> it can be Pat Barry, you know. Yeah, yeah, he, um, he'll do but, <laughs> He's but a good dude. Also, I'm, I'm enjoyed that you also, you know, when people say what you want to do, you say, I love my doggy. I want to get home to my doggy. And I'm a person who is like, I'm in love with my well, doggy. That's my soulmate. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, I feel the same way. I'm even go out to a bar or whatever, talking to this chicken head out here. And <laughs> I want to drunk text my doggy. I want to yeah. go, I start thinking about my fucking doggy, you know? <laughs> and I think it's more fun at home with my doggy. Um, yeah. So when you say stuff like that, eating deer us, and when we see you making the vegetable and pickling the ones and stuff, it's a good <laughs> example for people, you know? And yep. Just, I want to put one thing out there. When you said that, even though it's come through a thing, uh, Karen, you said it's come through fighting, you know, uh, like something so half, but also she's do some beautiful stuff. It remind me, I watched the, 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 um, the documentary series recently from Ken Burns of Muhammad Ali. Mm -hmm. And it showed that even though he's brutally beating these fucking guys up and he's also paid the price with his brain is, you know, 
at the end, they, he was paid the price from all that stuff. Through that spark, through that violent spark, look at what he was able to do and how many people he was touched, you know? And yeah. for the, forever, it's going to echo, like, you know, for, you know, for infinity, to eternity, yeah. whatever. And, 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 and even though it's a, it can be a brutal sport and it's unforgiving and there's winners and losers and stuff, you're always uh, going to inspire, you know, people like that. And, you know, and, you yeah. know, it's a shame that you, that you're in a, a, a relationship, uh, but, you know, so that's <laughs> no, the break. Not. Wow. Yeah. You don't want to deal with these parts, man. <laughs> well, I've smelled, listen, this ain't my first uh, audio. I've smelled yeah. a couple of parts. I've, 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 I've smelled them and I've dealt them. And let me tell you something. I can I can give as good as I got for her. <laughs> yeah. Don't let me get a hold to a bag of grapey. Yeah. Uh, you're in trouble. Thank anyway. you. Thank yeah. you so much uh, you for, for joining us. And thank you, Pat, as well, um, for for being here and for, for cooking, for keeping it hype and everything. Uh, yeah, so I know everybody's really looking forward to the rematch. Uh, not too much longer to wait, but you have been the uh, participant in so many memorable fights, and all of, obviously we'll we're all DC going thug road. <laughs> yes, it's it's just really fun, and um, I it's just it's just been really like you know I was telling people before that I met you before you were even in the UFC, and for me personally, it's just been a real treat to watch you succeed and to just to do so well. So I'm very happy and like. Happy to be along for the ride and just excited and thrilled for everything that you're doing and what you will become in the future as well because you're just doing so great and it's just it's just it's just awesome to see. Yeah, thank you guys so much. Yeah, this is, this is nah, you're, you're, you're welcome. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's the least I can do for her. <laughs> okay, <Yeah. laughs> the least. Well, thank you. Hanato and I are going to keep going here, Rose, but we'll let you enjoy the rest of your evening. So thank you so much and enjoy uh, those and enjoy those beans. They're good for you, heart. Yes, you yes, understand? Indeed. Yeah, yes. we'll do. That, that's All also right. the musical fruit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Take care. The uh, more you Pat eat. Bye. Bye, Pat. Care, Bye, Pat. We love you, Pat. Yeah, we, we love you, Pat. Okay, take care of yourself. Yeah, we'll see if they can hang up. Oh, they, oh they're good at wow. the hang up. She know in just how good. Usually they. Often so good at the hang up. Usually they fumble in the home with that shit, you know, all that stuff. How great is. Rose. How great is Rose, you know? And, and you know what? Yeah. Yeah. And Patch, huh? Uh, that arrogant. No. That he's arrogant. arrogant. Pat is not arrogant at all. He's totally cool. He think he got gift to women here with that wavy. You saw he was trying to upstage with the wavy hair and all these fucking stuff here. God, are you? I'll get him out of there if that last shit I do for him. <laughs>